Most of you know the Boise Foothills Trail System is one of the true jewels of the Gem State. We are so lucky to have it. Considered some of the best hiking and biking trails in the entire West, low the world. Later this month, the city of Boise will launch a new management program on some of the trails. Through the program, the city will test new management strategies on four of the trails. The trail's effective on your screen right now, and they include Lower Hulls Gulch, Trail number 29, my favorite trail, Pole Cat Loop Trail number 81, Around the Mountain Trail number 98, and the Buck Trail number 20. Uh, those trails have some closures and special rules this summer affecting both hikers and bikers. Program will begin on April 28th and last through the end of October. Joining us now to talk about this is our good friend, Doug Holloway, the director for Parks and Rec in Boise. Doug, welcome to the News at Four. Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me, Mark. I appreciate that. Doug, you put out a survey asking trail goers to weigh in, and boy, did they ever. More than 4,400 people responded on how to make the trails better, reduce overuse, and conflicts. When you went through that survey, what struck you as the overall thought by most people and what they had? Well, first off, you're exactly right, Mark. We were quite uh, amazed and a bit overwhelmed to get 4,400 responses uh, to that survey, but it just shows the passion and uh, the interest uh, and uh, that our folks have, our users have for the foothills. And so uh, that was probably the first thought that I had. There's a lot of, of responses here, but I think, you know, really more than uh, anything, it shows that people do want to see changes, are, are interested in seeing changes as their uh, needs in the foothills continue to change. And specifically where it comes to pedestrian versus mountain biking usage, uh, on our foothills trails, you know, it was loud and clear in the survey that people want a different management strategy, that people do have concerns about uh, safety considerations on some of the trails and wanted to see some, uh, some different types of strategies moving forward. And so that really is what precipitated us putting the survey together and then asking some real tough questions of our users. Are you willing to uh, give a, a pilot a try that is something completely different than what we've ever done in the past? Well, let's talk about some specifics of that, Doug, because, yeah, you really hit the needle here. And let's begin with Lower Hulls Gulch, trail number 29. This is a very, very popular trail, gets a lot of activity. On even numbered days of the month, the trail is closed to all downhill bike travel. Talk about that and the other things that hikers and bikers are going to have to put on their calendar. Yeah, so even number of days, um, there will be no speeding by uh, mountain bikes coming down the hill. It'll still be open both ways for uh, pedestrian traffic, which is our hikers, uh, our joggers, uh, those that enjoy a more passive leisurely uh, use on the trails that we have become more and more concerned about from a safety perspective. And so, you know, the uh, mountain bikers will still be able to go uphill. Uh, on those even number days, but they won't be able to come downhill. And so we're just giving that a shot to see um, how that works between the two user groups. And then on the uh, odd number of days, it's just mountain bike only, both uphill and downhill. And um, so we're really providing what the survey told us our customers were asking for. And that is, let's try something that's unique and different uh, to us. It's not unique and different, Mark, to a lot of other mm. uh, markets that have foothills trails have tried these types of strategies that have worked successfully. We don't know how well this will work. We're hopeful that it, uh, that it will lead us in a direction that if, if it's successful, we could certainly look at this at, at uh, potential other trail uh, sites. But right now we just wanna try it as a pilot. Um, so for those that, that are not interested in seeing this move forward, we just wanna emphasize it's for safety purposes is our, really our primary reason, but it's a pilot only. And so, you know, we, we wanna test it to see how it works. And if it doesn't work, then we'll, we'll look at other strategies. And I thought this was interesting on two trails, the Polecat Loop, as I mentioned, that's, that's my jam. And around the mountain, there'll be one directional tra travel, meaning you're not gonna see anybody come in the opposite direction uh, how is that going to be noted? Will you see signs when you show up telling you, hey, this is one way only this way? Yeah, Mark, we have a number, a number of touch points that will have signage uh, located at trailheads, located at the, uh, when you start on that particular loop. 
Uh, there'll be trails at each of the different intersections uh, directing what direction to go. So we're, we're hopeful that, um, you know, we're not big proponents of putting a lot of signage out, but we believe for the purposes of this pilot and the changes that we're proposing, it is going to require us to have some uh, good educational opportunities. We have a website set up to also uh, provide information to our users as well. And then, but this, again, this is this is what our, our users asked for, both at the Polecat Loop as well as around the mountain, that they wanted to see direction in just one direction. And so um, we'll give that a try, Mark, and see how that turns mm -hmm. out. Bottom line here, and if I'm reading you correctly, Doug, the bottom line is go to the website, make sure you know the trail you're going to and the reg regulations that they're asking you to do. The bottom line here is we want to preserve these trails for future generations. That's why this is in place. It, absolutely. And, and, you know, we know we'll have to continue that education process. Our plan is to have uh, trail ambassadors and our rangers will be out in full force at all of these um, locations where the strategy is changing just to educate the public. If they're, if someone right. shows up on a day that they can't hike uh, the Lower Holes Gulch because uh, it's a mountain biking day, then they will have those conversations with them because uh, not everybody is paying attention to exactly what we're doing. Right. And we understand that. And we just want to create a safe environment on all these trails for all users as, as the use continues to increase by our users. Right. All right. Doug Holloway with Boise Parks and Rec. Always good to talk to you. And thanks for what you're doing to keep our foothills and our parks perfect. It's great. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. All right. We're back after this. Rick's going to let you know whether or not we've got a couple of good hiking and biking days ahead after this.